Βρισκόμαστε εδώ στο Bolivar, στην Αθήνα και στον Άλυμο συγκεκριμένα και είναι μαζί μας ο Mr. V. Ναι, είναι αλήθεια. Ε, is this your first time in Greece? Hello. Yes. Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, it is, no, it's not my first time in Greece. I, I've been in Greece. It's, this is the first time I've been back in 15 years. My first time in Greece was 2004. Fantastic. Okay, so um, let me. Sorry. So, Victor, yeah. Um, let's uh, go a little bit in the beginning. How it all started from your side, New York City. Yeah. I mean, where it all began. How uh, you know? How did you get into the music and all this DJing and producing that you are doing so far? Uh, it started on the Lower East Side. In I'm gonna say. I started messing with drum machines in 2000, 2001. Um, as far as my love for the music, back in 1994, working with Masters at Work, which is Louis Vega and, and Kenny Dope, uh, being with them for six years, and then um, just continuously being in the music and you know fooling around with music. Um, I had a party called Soul Channel with Alex Alvarez uh, back in New York City back then. It was a free party every Saturday. At a small bar called 85A, and then from that party we started a label called Soul Channel Music, our own label, and that's how we started to make music, our own music, and really start to start to explore our sound and just make our own unique music, you know, and and you know really just make our own signature sound. So that's how it all started back in 2004. Nice. Um, okay. The next question is. Okay, 2004 it all started. 2005 we got to know you with mm. Just Dance. I mean that's how I got to know you. Uh -huh. So it's amazing track till today. It's been played and I'm sure it will be played. It's gonna. It's I think an all-time classic now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, how do you manage all these years? You stay. Uh, how do you say original to your uh, to your roots, but still it, your sound is fresh. Is innovative. I mean. What keeps you going? Um, I think just, uh, just if you want me to be honest, I think just listening to all types of sound, being open to new type of music, um, not being closed-minded to the future and what is now, um, and just embracing music. I, I love music. You know, music is like it's everything to me. So you know, I don't. I try not to look at every every type of music through a lens you know I, i i love to listen and i love to connect with music and that's pretty much why i stay the way i stay i, I have to connect with music that i'm listening to if i don't have no connection to it i just don't bother you know because i know that in life we're all we're all on borrowed time you know yes. so time is very important um how you spend it is is very important too yeah. so you know I, i just try to stick to what feels good Okay. You know, and that's what's in your soul. Like you can tell when something's good easily. Yeah. You can. So yeah. Okay. And uh, I think everybody can uh, get that. That that's why uh, you are where you are today, yeah. and you keep going, and the people love you. Yes. So, so you you must be doing something good, yeah. I'm working, man. <laughs> I I just try to work as much as possible with as many people as possible. Okay. You know, yeah. Tell us a little bit about this new track I I heard and uh, I am blessed with uh, Nezi from Barcelona. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this because it's a really wonderful track. Yeah. I love it. Uh, so tell us how this came up. So Nezi is a young producer from Barcelona um, and she sent me a demo, an MP3 demo of a track and uh, she sent it to my manager. My manager sent it to me. I heard it and immediately when I heard it, I loved the vibe. So. Um, My manager and her manager and her people talked, and they worked out all the numbers and the, you know, all the details, the business side of things. And then it was time for me to write a song, and I wanted to do something on this track because it had so much good energy in it that I wanted to make a track about being blessed, about feeling good about yourself, and you know, feeling good about where you are in life right now. And 
you know, just just having positive vibes, man. That's what house music is always and should always be about. Yeah, it's positive vibes, and that's what I wanted to do on this record, especially for a young female producer, which is very, yeah, it's not a lot, yeah. you know, which is great to see. True. Yeah. True. True. Uh, what's next? What's new? I mean, what are, should we wait as a new project? Something that you're uh, already working on or is going to come out soon? Yes, there's a couple of records I'm doing. Um, I'm working on a couple projects, to be honest with you. Some of them I can't say right now. Okay. Uh, but there is a Soul Channel Music 20 year anniversary uh, remaster album coming out. Um, there's a new song called Home that I wrote with Steady Hybrid Heights that has remixes by me and Norikoto coming out on my label uh, in a couple weeks. Um, and there's just other stuff that I'm picking up and signing, and then there's a lot of collaborations that I can't say or I'm collaborating with, but there's a lot of them, a lot of them coming, and, and that's what we're doing. We're, I'm, I'm prepping yeah. for like the next collaboration thing, and that's what I want to do. Since we are talking, yeah. since we are talking about collaboration, You've been collaborating with uh, a lot of big names. I mean, you mentioned you worked with Master of Works, you know. Yeah, everyone. I, I've, I've, I've worked with uh, uh, Low Stepper, Masters at Work, uh, Jesus. Um, I've, I've worked with pretty much everyone. Um, I've worked with... I can't even really name how many people I've worked with, um, but it's a lot. It's a lot of people. I've worked with Bob Sinclair, obviously, um, on music. Um, just just people from the past and the present that I've been very working very closely with, you know. So um, it's again, it's it's all about music that I'm feeling, and if I feel something in the music, it doesn't matter what genre it is, as long as it has something that I know I can turn into. Yeah, I'm willing to work with it. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. And um, so, uh, what you, should we expect to hear tonight? Uh, tonight is a little bit of this, a little bit of Afro House, some Latin House. I don't know, I might throw in some sort of disco or something yeah, just to play with the sound. I think, I think people need variety um, in DJ sets these days. Um, but it's all about having fun, just music that's good, just good music, if anything. Um, but I but I do want to play a little bit of everything tonight, you know, during my set. But most of it is Afro Latin, you know. So that's the theme that's here tonight, and that's what I can do. Great, great. You know? Now you've been in the scene a lot. You are in the scene for many years. Yeah, 20, 20 you you hear house music has been evolving a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot of subgenres came up. Yeah. Um, what is your comment on that type of, on that evolution? I mean, when, uh, well. Nothing stays the same. You yeah. know, you have to appreciate the moment that you're in and the time that you're in and take it in and soak it all up as a sponge. I was lucky enough to be in an era where there was one DJ yeah. and it was a six, seven hour set and that DJ played every day. It yeah. wasn't just one thing for hours. It was every day. So, you know, I think a lot of people are missing that, but, you know, it's everything is so accessible now. Yeah. It's easy to get, it's easy to have, it's easy to do for some. Yeah. Um, it doesn't take much to do. And I try not to complain because I have the easiest job in the world next yeah. to a lot of people that I know that are yeah. working very hard. And I, I expect nothing and I appreciate everything. You know, I thank God every day for what I do. You know, and if, and if it's through God that he's telling me to play this music, then that's what I'm going to do, you know? Very nice. What's your advice? for a young kid that is starting as a DJ, but you know, th now things are so different. Like you said, everything yeah. is so accessible. I used to spend all my money on vinyl, uh, you know, and be broke uh, at the end of the month. Yeah. Um, what is your advice for someone today? I think, I think it's to um, stay original. Please stay original. Uh, be yourself and listen to other music and get influenced by other producers. It doesn't have to be just in the music that you like, but also check out other producers too who are good and, and who actually play music. You know, you never know what you're going to listen to. And last but not least, um, I would say get used to the word no. Nice. Get used to that word yeah. no. And get used to it so much that when someone tells you that you know how how much more work you have to do 
and don't fear the work the work is just the progress the work is why you're going to be what you're going to be so thank you so much victor mr v thank you we're so happy to be here i'm looking forward to listening to your music thank you really appreciate your time thank you so much i appreciate you too thank you guys so much thank you